What's up everybody? Welcome back to Avid Max Gear Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're going to check out the Bug Out Backpack from Orvis. So like I said, we're checking out the new and improved Bug Out Backpack from Orvis. I'll just run through how I've got this one configured, as well as some of the main features and benefits of it. So right here on the front, uh, on the left-hand side, there's this fly pack zone, as well as a couple of gear loops. It's a good spot to put a zinger or retractor. I've got mine set up with my favorite Orvis Pro Nippers. Keeps it really handy and accessible, but also nice and tucked out of the way. And then on the right hand side, we have another gear station. It's a great spot to lock in a pair of forceps or something like that. So a couple different options here for you to keep your favorite small pieces of gear accessible, but also not in your way at all. We also have a chest strap that's easily adjustable with a buckle here, and it runs along these tracks on the shoulder strap. So you can move it up and down and really tailor it for the most comfortable fit for you. We also have an adjustable waist belt on this pack as well. Um, you'll notice that my net is tucked in uh, behind the pack here, and it's in between my body and the pack, but it's in its own designated molded net holster. So sometimes when I wear a backpack and I want to carry a net, I'll just slide it in there, but it's not super comfortable because it rides directly against my spine. Uh, but this has a padded molded net holster, which keeps it really secure, but also very comfortable for you. So let's check out some of the other features on the flip side and check out the back. All right guys, so we'll just do a 360 tour around the pack covering all of the main touch points, as well as give you a quick glimpse into the compartments, and then we'll take a deeper dive into the main compartment of the pack. So uh, on the back here, I just wanted to show you where the molded net holster is. So it's a nice wide mouth opening, it can cover a wide variety of your longer handled nets. This here is the El Jefe from Fish Pond. Fits in there really nicely keeps it accessible for me. And then with this structured padding here, I'm not really feeling that net against my body at all. And then over here, we have a molded uh, water bottle holster with a strap there. That bungee will keep it easily seated in place. And it also has a really nice feature on this. There's a zipper compartment with some extra material that folds out so you can easily hold a rod tube, which looks something like this. All right, so here you can see the rod tube fully locked in to this water bottle pocket here. Sometimes on a standard backpack, when you're trying to carry a rod tube and travel around, having it in a regular water bottle pocket is not the most practical, and it starts here and then extends way above your head, and it feels kind of awkward and clunky. So this creative solution is super effective, and I'm really glad to see Orvis doing something like this to make it more practical for centering a rod tube against your backpack. So continuing our tour here, the main compartment on the front has a nice water resistant fabric, large zipper compartment here. And being part of the new Angler series of packs from Orvis, this has that same eco-friendly yet durable recycled Cordura polyester. So checking out this main compartment here, nice big gear loop on there, pretty big slotted pocket, as well as two smaller mesh zippered pockets. Plenty of room to really customize it for whatever kind of gear that you'd like to store. Uh, about probably keeping it slender in here since it is a thinner pocket, uh, but there's plenty of room in these other pockets here. On this side, we have side entry. So this goes into the main body of the pack, which we'll check out in just another minute here. Uh, you'll see that there's a divider in there that is utilizing this Velcro strip, so you can kind of have that as an option. Um, I have an insulating layer here and then the Orvis chest pack. So when we get into the main compartment, I'll show you how you can kind of set this up, as well as the compatibility between the chest pack and the bug out backpack. Uh, but just know this is a really cool storage solution for you available in this pack. On the actual opening itself, you do have a long mesh zippered pocket where you can store any kind of smaller tools and accessories. Up on the top here, you have a couple different attachment points. Uh, there's no rules here, so if you want to get creative with any kind of gear that you'd like to keep outside of the pack, you can get to it without opening anything up. You have that option to do so with these little attachment points. The uppermost pocket, great for uh, any valuables, snacks, things that you want to keep at the ready. 
And then you have a small pocket behind that that's gonna be great for your sunnies. It's a nice fleece lined pocket that you can stash securely right there. Um, you don't have to worry about bumping it into anything or anything like that as it's protected between the top of the pack and kind of the back of your neck there. So this is a really secure, uh, safe pocket for you to keep your sunglasses. Now let's go ahead and check out the main compartment on the bug out backpack. So we've checked out some of the smaller compartments here up on the top. Now let's go ahead and open up the main top compartment. So plenty of volume in here. You could keep a camera, a rain shell, a pack cover, small tools and accessories, small to medium sized fly boxes. I like to keep snacks up top. That way I don't have to really dig into the main compartment. Uh, particularly, I like my, my spuds. So it's a great backpacking snack. Any sort of small and light stuff you can keep up top here. And then above that on the actual lid itself, we have another zippered mesh pocket, great for your valuables. And it has the key ring in there so you can clip them in and not have to panic without knowing where your keys are at. So we also have this zipper here, which leads us into the main compartment. So you can obviously get into there from this top pocket, but one of the main features of this pack is the side access. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here on the side of the pack is one of the main features that I've been talking about. This large zippered opening, which gives you access to the main body of the pack. Now you'll notice on the flip side of the lid, we have a large zippered mesh pocket. It gives you plenty of storage for a whole bunch of small and light things. And then this divider here uses Velcro on the walls. It's an option that you have and it works really well. The intent here is that the Orvis chest pack fits perfectly into this designated slot. So it also works on the hip slash chest pack, but either way, uh, when you're not using it buckled into the shoulder straps, so maybe when you're hiking up to that Alpine Lake and you don't need it on the front of your body, you can perfectly stash it into here. This will also work well for a lot of uh, small to medium sized camera bags that would do well. And and just segments that space up to give you two options, uh, one high and one low for breaking up storage in here. Now up top, I've got uh, a nice fleece in there. There's tons of room in there, so I could really stash um, any sort of day pack essentials. And it just gives me some nice options for storage when I'm using this backpack to its full capacity. All right, so this is what the chest pack looks like in conjunction with the bug out backpack. You can also do this with the smaller hip slash chest pack from Orvis. It's a great solution whether you're somebody who wants to wear a backpack but also keep all your fishing things right in front of you. You can easily do that and have all the tools, accessories, flies, anything that you need right here so you don't have to swing that pack around. Or it's a great solution if you're carrying a bunch of gear, whether that be camera gear or if you like to pack a little heavy for an Alpine Lake trip or something like that. So we've shown you this pack fully loaded up with the raw tube, the net, and the works. Uh, but it also cleans up really nice. So whether you're doing hardcore fishing trips, using it in conjunction with that chest pack or the chest slash hip pack, or if you wanna use it for more of a commuter bag, you could put a laptop into the sleeve on this slender outermost pocket. It's a really great solution from trail to town. So it's got 25 liters of volume. You could load it up with camera gear, load it up for a day hike, be a great uh, travel solution as a personal item um, on a flight or something like that. Uh, so if you're looking for a really dynamic piece, go ahead and check out the Bug Out Backpack from Orvis at avidmax.com.